Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you a very uh, simple um, flower family. So this is this is the one, and you can open it or close it. And open it, okay? Let's do it. So I'm going to close this one. Yep, something like this, the lily flower, okay? So let me just close everything, 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 close, close everything, okay? Okay, so first, first, uh, we're going to model a adaptive family. So in this adaptive family, place one point and make it adaptive, okay? Then place another point to our plan, set work plan, place it, uh, set, set work plan on this horizontal uh, work plan and place it on the point. Drag this up. So this creates a, a, pro, a height product. Let's call it H instance. OK and OK. And then um, place another point to our work plan, set work plan, pick the vertical work plan and place it on this point and then drag it that way okay so this will be the offset let's call it um, a W okay so instance okay and okay so now we need another point so another point join work plan set work plan pick the horizontal work plan place it on the point one and then select this point type in offset one Okay, so now select the adaptive point, the point with one offset, and this one, and create spline. So you will see this is a, a spline. Okay, so make reference line. So now we can use the height, so for example, uh, 500, and the width to control uh, the shape of that flower. So now we need to create a place three points. Okay, so first let's place one point, draw on face, and we need to create a, a profile. So reference. So we're going to use a spline, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick pick the this work plan, and let's uh, draw a shape. So roughly. Um, like this okay so now select the point and the profile cc select the point picking host roughly um, roughly middle point will be fine okay so now move this point to this end so just type in zero and for this profile we're going to slightly change it so i'm going to just use a uh, scale so re roughly change the size to be so like this and also you can change the shape of of this profile if you want to okay so roughly like this i'll just go uh yeah i think make it not uh so flat and with some angle um, okay, so now we need a, the last one. So the last one, just place our face, and this one we're going to place the profile horizontally. So draw our work plan, set the horizontal work plan of this point. So this one will, oops, sorry, wrong one. Why, why, why do I use circle? So use a spline. Okay, so set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan, and roughly like this. Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot to change the to reference style. That's fine. So now we have one profile, two profile, and three profile. So create form. So this is this is it. So this is one of the uh, the paddle. Okay. So you can still change the shape, and you will see. Notice that. Um, it's not very you know smooth so you can change the shape so let's just change the 
try to select this uh, reference line okay so yeah this one so you will be able to just adjust adjust the points to roughly match the the overall the overall shape okay so um, yeah I think all good okay yep and then uh, let's just wire frame w, wf wire frame so you will see everything and then just drag this and also um, let me just maybe just move back a little bit um, move this back a little bit oops sorry um, yeah like this it's quite easy to adjust so just have a try yourself so um hang on looks like we mm, maybe it's better to because currently the depending on the the shape of this one so currently it's not quite matching maybe let's just add another one <laughs> add another one so so i'm going to just copy uh one point and the profile just uh, add another one here so even you can add more if you want to okay so but I'll just move this to so currently it is sitting on 0 0.5 I'll sit on 0 0.33 and this one I'll sit this on 0 0.67 so just equal them and then I'll de dissolve this shape and I'll create another form so create form. So so this time it's more you know a uh, follow the shape of this, and maybe this one need to go up a little seven five. Yep, I think that's it. It should be all good. So now this is part of so in that flower. So now we need to create a new another uh, adaptive family to place this. Okay, so in this one I'm going to just draw. A, a reference circle in the middle here okay so circle and maybe I'll make it 50 50 and you can change it if you wanted to okay so now select this circle I'll divide use divide path and then select this divide path so see here so you can create a number parameter okay instance okay and okay so now go back to this family, load this in here, so you can place it on these points. Okay. So and you will notice that uh, it's just the wrong uh, direction. That's that's okay. So we can just go back here. So um, check the always vertical. Okay. So and then load this back and place it again. So, um, Okay, so it looks like I go to the opposite direction. Um, that's okay. So we just need to go edit family. We need to select so this point, select this point, select this point. Oh, sorry, there there are two points here. So make sure you pick the one with this rotation angle. So I'm actually I'm going to just select so this one, this one this one and there is another one here so I think it's this one so control select so now we select we have all one two three four points selected so I'm going to actually add a angular parameter to them so now I can just go here type in a number uh, uh, sorry <laughs> type, type, type in 180 so Oh, is that correct? Uh, oh, sorry. We need also rotate this point as well. <laughs> sorry. Let's just link this to a. Yep. Oh, good. So now load this back into here. Yep. So now it's in the correct direction. So now if you select this one, repeat. So you have five or six of them. And depending on the parameter so you can go edit um, here so for example I need 9 that's 9 
And now let's adjust the size. So currently it's too, I think it's too skinny. So maybe uh, what we need to do is select this, maybe tab select one of them, and SA select all. So you will be able to adjust this. So for example, uh, the width will be, yeah, that's better. Uh, 500 looks okay. But you, um, so actually, what I'm going to do is, um, if I, if I, so currently one, 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 uh, one meter, oh, that's a very huge, very big flower, but yeah, that's fine. So, uh, let's pretend that's to scale. Okay. So, uh, 1000 here, height is 500. So if I type, uh, 1000 here, and 500 let's see what happens so it looks like it's it's closing right right and if i type here type in 100 and a 1200 okay so yes so what i'm going to do is i'll just create a formula so i can just use one to control both parameters so for example i'll just control the height and the width will go with the height, so with some formula. Okay, so let's just, um, let's try this, okay, so height, so height, maximum height with, um, height plus width equals two meter, let's just try, W equals uh, two meter minus H. Let's see what happens. Okay, so apply. Okay, so load this back. All right. Okay, so let's have a look. So oh, yeah, let's. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select one of them, S A, and create. Um, yeah, just let's just try this. So now you will see that. W become a gray, you won't be able to change. So it will change when you change the 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 height. So if I re reduce the height, you will see the width increased. And if you in if, if we increase the the height, the width reduce. So two meter oh, maybe two one nine. Yeah. So something like that. Um, still quite tall, very tall, but yeah, I think it should, it looks okay, maybe I'll just change that, reduce the height, or maybe instead of 1 or 2, or 1500, okay, so load this back, Ooh -hoo. so it looks like uh, something's not right here, because, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so because that's negative, so let's change it. Yeah, so this is a closed flower. And then when I reduce this height, it's slowly uh, open. Yeah. Okay, so now let's quickly, uh, I'm just going to quickly create a, a dynamo. And so because uh, it's easier to, to use some uh, slider. So so let's go family types. So this check the file name. So uh, currently this one is uh, family seven. Oh no, sorry. N you need to find out what this is, this, the name of this. So I think this, what's the name? What's the family name of this? Can you check this one? Oh, family six. So these individual family six so select family six okay so now all elements of family type link and set parameter okay so link element per, uh, para, per, uh, parameter name h so double click h and the link this to and then we just need a integer slider so uh, it will be, let me think, maybe 100 to 1450, something like that. So 
link this to that and okay so now we can just so you see the close open okay so that's it so and of course you can change the shape you just need to edit this and change you can change the shape of the the paddle and and yeah and that's pretty much it so you can just create create multiple of them so you can control them okay so that's that's it um if you have any questions or if you have a better idea please let me know i'll see you next time bye